I titled the, the choreography Still Waters. Not because still waters run deep, because I know that that's usually what people will probably think when they see it, but still waters because something can be smooth like glass on the top and there could be so much life and activity underneath it. Across the whole way and I've got um, the dancers walking in really slowly across mm. it, sort of s similar to like a uh, buto. Mm, okay. Um, so that they're, they're Grace water. Choi, who's the composer, she and I had about three or four meetings during fall semester and she shared poetry with me, I shared images with her, and then she started playing some music for me. So the, the movement that the, that the dancers are doing, it reflects all these different components and different little parts that make up this thing that we call water. The title is To the Low Place, and it was written by the Korean poet Zhang Ha Li. I wanted to stay low. Any place on the ground is fine if it is low. If I can take your love, which will gather like waves and can be taken with my whole body. If I can keep a drop from leaking out in vain. Yes, lowering my step means I will be completely empty for you. And I want to give myself to you. I'm okay if I drown, you come to me like waves. This poem is talk about not only just water, a sacrifice for someone. And I thought it could be sacrifice for um, somebody, but also myself. When you walk up to someone, if they're comfortable with you being near them, you can start closer to someone if you choose. The water can be strong, it can be supple, it's rejuvenating, it can take away life. So um, as a dancer, I'm just really grateful to be able to explore these waters. The trio that was in the upstage space, they had a moment with very small parameters for me, the permission to improv. especially like partnered improv, it can be uncomfortable, it can be scary, um, but really through that improvisational movement, working with and around each other, that really builds a lot of uh, comfortability in working with one another, and then from there you can really take that anywhere else. Right, you're here, yes, with the Barbie foot, mm -hmm. and uh, huh. think if you had if it was caught in your, does that make sense? Uh -huh. It's that. So it's more, and, uh, there you go. Okay. Yep. When I'm dancing her piece, I just feel like free and like, you know, I'm, and I love dancing with the audience because like, I want them to feel how I feel inside. So like, that's how I feel when I dance, like exactly how I want them to feel. I love working with Shauna. She has a really interesting rehearsal process. Okay. Back out. And then as soon as it lands that second time, it pulls back and then, right, and then pull it back and send it through and keep going. Right. Okay. For example, she'll say, right now I want this to be soft or I want this to be like you're dropping something or sharp and the qualities kind of add really cool dynamics to her choreography. And if you forget the instructions, what are you going to do? Do, right, do something, keep going improv, yes? When you're doing the little shoo, right, let it be big, don't worry about staying on your balance, because shoo, you can take steps, steps are okay. I really do think that like artists benefit one another. I think that we're gonna create an amazing, amazing thing and take a fun, fun spin on what water means. Nice.
Good.